Hey you guys, it is Joey and I am BACK back with another video. Now this video is about hitting it and quitting it. Now my brother, he tells me if you hit it and quit it, you're not a man. If you cheat, you're not a man. Because a real guy will not will not cheat on his girlfriend because if you have a girlfriend, the point is to have a girlfriend. It is being in a committed relationship and promising that girl when you asked her out not to break her heart or if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I, I totally understand. I do not condone divorce, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But you, when you are talking to someone, you should realize that it's not going to work out because you talk to that person for a lot of amount of time before you ask them out because you have to get a feel of the person, what the person is like, and if it doesn't work out, you're, you're probably not going to ask the person out. But if you do ask the person out, you should know if it's going to work or not. Now, my brother, well, I call him my brother, but he's not hes not really my brother yet, because if I say my brother and my sister have been going out, that's going to seem weird. But my sister and her boyfriend, who have been going out for three years, which is practically like my brother already, so that's why I call him my brother. But they have my sister has been going out with her boyfriend for three years, and they are perfectly fine. Now, they, they fight. They argue, and that couple argues. I totally understand that. They argue and they fight just like regular couples. And they, when I'm around them, they seem very happy. But if they have been together for three years, and it's a typical black black relationship, they're very they're very polite and they're very like they're very civilized. I totally understand. Like there should be no reason for people not to be able to be in a relationship for a long time. I don't understand the relationships that last for like three weeks and then okay, it's over. I went out for, with a girl for, I think it was two weeks. She made me brownies. I was in like the seventh grade. She made me brownies and she was like, do you want these? And I was like, yeah, I guess that was her way of saying that she liked me. But we, we, I knew that she liked me from a while back. And then she just never told me. And then one day she just came up to me and, and made me brownies. She didn't say, here, I made them for you, because I guess that's not the type of person that she is. She said, here, do you want these? And I said, yeah, it's food. I mean, it, lunch didn't come up yet, and I didn't eat. But I was in the seventh grade, remind you, I was like 12. Now I'm 17, and it, that was five years ago. It was, it was whatever. And it's about to rain. Oh, my God. It is about to rain. But I was seven, like, I was I was in the seventh grade, and I was like 12. So I was like, yeah, I want them. And so, like, I knew that she liked me. And so I ate the damn brownies, and they was fucking good. Hell yeah, they was good. And it was some damn brownies. And this was like... I know her Hispanic chick, she didn't put no, she didn't put no TLC or fucking P PCP or like any drug in them, because I would have been fucked up. Maybe that's why I asked her out, because I was fucked up, maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, she made me brownies, and then like, the day went on, and before, back then we had six classes, because I was in middle school. When I was in middle school, we had six classes, now I have four, and like, the day ends early, an hour earlier, and it starts two hours earlier, and I don't understand why it ends an hour earlier if it starts two hours earlier, but, oh well. Anyways, the girl made me brownies, the day went on, before fifth period, I remember, I asked her out, and I was like, I didn't even, I didn't even ask her, like, I just went up to her, I was like, will you go out with me? It was definitely simple, because it wasn't really a girl that I was interested in, it was one of those girls, and I totally understand that that I shouldn't have asked her out if I wasn't going to stay with her for a while. But it was one of those girls that, you that like, I just, I wanted a girlfriend. And you should never go out with a girl just because you wanted a girlfriend because that, that's totally not right. I went out with her because I wanted a girlfriend and I saw everyone having, uh, being in relationships and I just wanted someone to call my own. And so I asked her out. I didn't kiss her until, like, after we broke up. I know that sounds wrong, right? But I was 12, you guys. I was 12. I didn't even know what sex was. I'm kidding. I knew what sex was, but... But, you know, we don't really... We didn't really talk about that stuff when I was 12. It's, it's when I got into high school that I was, like, exposed to all the... All the sex and drugs and violence and all that stuff. And, um... Yeah, so I didn't ask her out till... Like... I didn't ask her out till the day she made me brownies. And then I held her hand in school, but, like... When you hold someone's hand for too long, your your palm gets all sweaty, and then, like, I just didn't want to hold her hand. And then, like, I started ignoring her a little bit, and I just didn't know how to break up with her. And then, like, when I broke up with her, eighth grade came. Eighth grade. 
the summer passed, we broke up, whatever. Then I got, I went into eighth grade. There was a seventh grader that liked me. Oh, wait, I was in eighth grade when I had that girlfriend. I was in eighth grade when, the, when I went out with the girl who made me brownies because I remember I went out with the same girl and I went out with a different girl that same year in like February, February. So I went out with this, the, the same girl and then I told my girlfriend that I didn't kiss her, but she didn't believe me, and then the girl's spot, and then, like, all this, all this bullshit happened, but what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to get here, what I'm trying to get at here, is that you shouldn't cheat on your girlfriend, you shouldn't just get quit it, and I didn't actually, I didn't actually, I hit it with another girl while I was going out with one girl, and I don't It's like we were talking, but like we were drifting while we were talking. We never went out, but like we were drifting while we were talking. So like we weren't, we were gonna not talking anymore. So if I, if I did, if I did it, if I hit, unless, if I hit it with another girl, does that count as cheating? Let me know.